So welcome back everyone and new specifications for NVIDIA's upcoming GeForce RTX 3080 Ti graphics cards have emerged from Copite 7 Kimi. Now the graphics card has been in the rumor scene even before the GeForce RTX 30 series was announced and it has seen various specification changes but it looks like as we get closer to an introduction NVIDIA has decided to revise the core and memory configuration once again. In his latest tweet, Copite 7 Kimmy reports that Nvidia has once again modified those specifications of the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti graphics card. Now we know that GPU makers plan out several GPU configurations prior to their release, but in this generation we have gotten to see so many different variants of a graphics card as well the one we've seen in the past before things get finalized for production. Now this allegedly has to do with GPU yields, production, and stock. And the latest specifications, while a small downgrade core-wise, will still net an almost similar performance gain as the RTX 3090. Now GeForce RTX 3080 Ti or the RTX 3080 20GB FE Founders Edition graphics card is expected to feature the PG133-SKU 15 PCB designed on the GA102-250 KDA1 graphics core. Now the GA102-250 GPU has also changed since the last time we saw them and will now feature an expected 10,240 CUDA cores with a total of 80 SM units. Now since the main core configuration is entirely brand new, the previous leaks, clocks, and TMU ROP counts should now be dismissed. As for the memory, the card will feature a 12 gigabyte buffer of GDDR6X. Now, unlike the 19.5 gigabytes per second speed of the RTX 3090, the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is said to retain the same memory speed as the RTX 3080 at 19 gigabits per second. Now, since we're getting 12 gigabytes of memory, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti will be using the 384-bit bus interface, which should equal a total bandwidth of 912 gigabytes per second. So, while we see an 8 gigabyte VRAM reduction over the previous spec, the larger bus interface should drive higher memory bandwidth. Now, the TGP for the card is set to be the same as the 3080 at 320 watts. That's definitely needed to feed the extra cores, so NVIDIA might have to optimize the clocks here quite a bit. Now, as for the launch date, Video Cards has suggested that the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is likely to launch sometime in April. Well, Though that date isn't 100% guaranteed, and the reason stated for this is the same thing as the roadmap list down April, as well as other dates mentioned. But with that said, the RTX 3080 Ti still aims to compete against the Radeon RX 6900 XT at a lower price point. It is likely that the changes to the memory and design could have been made to offer the card a more attractive price point, which would still end up being closer to that $999 US mark. The same as AMD's flagship graphics card, and for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.